my staffer tried to book a flight for her family to get out of Puerto Rico, the only tickets available were for first class. First class. That's over $700 on a flight full of disaster evacuees. My DC staff did a little digging. Here's what they learned. The American people rely on the goodwill of the airlines to cap the prices of flights from disaster areas. The airlines decide when to start the cap and when it will end. The airlines decide whether to keep selling first class tickets. And the federal government never stops charging taxes on flights from disaster areas. American citizens deserve better, Mr. Speaker. That's why starting this week, I will be introducing a series of bills to ease the financial burden Americans face when escaping natural disasters. The Humanitarian Flight Fairness Package will do four things. First, it will allow the Secretary of Transportation to declare an aviation humanitarian crisis at specific airports covered by a presidential declaration of emergency. Second, it will allow the Secretary of Transportation to mandate that airlines charge no more than the median fare price of all seats sold on that route in the prior calendar year. Third, the package would require the FAA to waive the $5 and the 60 cent passenger facility charge during an aviation humanitarian crisis. And fourth, the package would require the FAA to waive the U.S. International Transportation Tax, which is $18 on a flight from Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. 